Corks Red FM. I suppose it's nice to pick up uh, a man of the match, like, but um, yeah, you know, it was a very good first half performance. I thought. Um, obviously, the second half we kind of, I suppose, didn't play as much rugby and probably kicked a bit aimlessly and put ourselves under a lot of pressure. But thankfully, our defensive system, you know, stood up to the test that Wales threw at us today. Was your try something off the training field, or was it just something? Nah, no, no, no. I was just uh, Polly just broke and drew in one or two lads and popped it up, and there was this massive gap there. So. Uh, you know, thankfully, I only had to run into the corner, so it, it must wasn't. be a thing of pride to be able to keep a, a team like Wales trialless in a game. Yeah, definitely. You know, there. You know, you see the firepower they have out wide, and you know, any day you keep Wales uh, from scoring a try, you know, it, it is a big thing. And you know, the boys, particularly the pack and the five-meter scrum there in the second half, you know, stood up to a lot of pressure, and you know, I suppose they can take a lot of credit for keeping Wales out to the big disappointment after the French game, you know, and the championship was gone. But uh, you know, we quickly, you know. Said about trying to trying to do a triple crown, like and obviously we've we've done England now in Wales and you know Scotland next week will be a massive game and hopefully we can finish off here in Crow Park with it with a triple crown. Obviously, you've spoken to Johnny inside. You missed a few kicks today by his own standards. Obviously, a lot of them very good, but was he disappointed? Or? No, I haven't spoken to him about it, but uh, you know we all make mistakes, but he you know he I'm sure he'll get him the next day. You know he's kicked unbelievably for Leinster and for Ireland this season, and you know he bounced back no problem. That uh, break you made for Keith's second try, was that rehearsed as well or was that just um, on the hook? Yeah, we had rehearsed it at the right, like didn't go out the plan. You know, I threw the ball to the ground first, which didn't help. <laughs> but you know, the rest of it was just lucky, a gap opened up and uh, you know, then Keith, Keith burned him on the outside. So it wasn't really rehearsed like that, but something else is meant to happen. Do you think that that sort of surprised Wales? They were perhaps expecting something else? Yeah, maybe so, Like, but um, you know, we were kind of lucky. But you know, you take you take your luck in every day. You know, we want to win silverware every year, and you know that's all we can win, I suppose, at the moment, unless France slip up big time. But I don't think they'll do that. So, you know, it'd be great to give the Irish people in Crow Park something to cheer about, and hopefully we can do that next week. Corks Red FM.